What's going on everybody? It's just a spoiling with Volvo Cars Tucson. And today I'm gonna be redoing how to work the Volvo Cars app in the all new 2025 XC90. Volvo has a new Google operating system that's similar to the old one. So let's get to it. So what you want to do first is that you want to go create the Volvo ID which is simply going to consist of first name, last name and your email. Then of course you create your password, the button here and then you're going to create your Volvo ID. Now your Volvo ID will be your email. Once you hit create the Volvo ID you're going to get an email then you're going to activate the Volvo ID. From there once you activate it you're going to hit sign in pick your country that you're in, email, and the password that you created. And then I'm gonna hit sign in. From there, this says verify your ID. Okay, so every time you hit sign in, Volvo always gonna send you a six digit pin to your email. Uh, 207433. All right, once you put in this pin code, hit submit. Now you get to the sign in part. I now want to add a car. What you do is you get your keys, both the black key and the orange key. If this is your first time signing into the Volvo Cars app, we get into the vehicle and then we we'll go from there. Uh, continue on with the setup your Volvo Cars app. This is going to be a little bit different. From here, first you have, your, uh, have the app downloaded to your phone, to create your Volvo ID. Once you did all that, now we're going to go to the new settings button, which is this little vehicle down here. And up top, you're going to see settings. Go ahead and hit that. Profiles. Right now, so we're going to do the app first. Uh, now they want me to pair my phone. So the next thing, it says sign in to the Volvo Cars app. If you already done it on your phone, this is what you're going to be looking at right here. So once you got it done correctly, Once we do that, we're going to hit next on the screen. Searching for keys. Oh yeah, you got to make sure that both keys are in the vehicle. Phone the props. There it is. Matching numbers. You're going to hit yes on your phone. Also hit yes on the screen. Pairing complete. Successfully paired done as the administrator. There's another message that's going to pop up on the phone. Activate data sharing in order to use cars remote features. See your car position and activate data sharing. Volvo considers your privacy to be essential. So I'm going to activate the data sharing. Once you get that you're going to get this message here. Data is activated. Voila. Okay one more thing. So I got a message up here that says Privacy settings not sync. Let me show you what this means. So I hit the down arrow. It says uh, if the car problem persists, try to change the privacy setting in the car. Okay, so here's what that means. On the app, it's trying to sync up with the privacy settings on the Volvo. So since this is brand new, and again, like I said, you just got to do this once. We go here. We go to settings. Privacy settings is going to be over here. Volvo privacy setting. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to turn on, let's see, to change the settings, log into your Volvo Cars app. Go here and I'm going to select privacy. So what I'm doing is I'm just turning on the driving journal, connected safety. So that's turned on, that's turned on. Alright, I'm signing back into the Volvo Cars app here all right the privacy message is gone so basically once you turn the privacy settings on through the Volvo Cars app if you get that gray message all you do you turn it on you sign out of the Volvo Cars app and then you sign right back on in all right y'all there y'all have it Volvo Cars app 2.0 on the all new 2025 and a half XC90s this one was a little bit different than 
what I originally had on my previous how to set up the Volvo Cars app and I noticed that on the Android phones the message is different than iPhones so me being an Android user it's a little bit different than the iPhones that I've been setting up the results are still the same bottom line when you see that little gray bar at the top do the pull down menu and follow the instructions of what it says turn on everything but that being said smaller Volvo cars too so see y'all in the next one